Okay, so Rafi won't get the hint. Also, AJ left, so I'm really going for the money now. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Fitz, and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello. I love you already. Make sure you slap the subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit, it's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl. And turn on those post notifications so you know all the tea first. Speaking of tea, if y'all do not know, my music is now available on all the streaming platforms. So make sure you're listening. Like, I'm trying to be a pop star. Like, I need your ears. Like, please lend me your ears. Also, check out the merch at outfitswithaz.art because it is art and there will be more soon. But now that that self-promo is out of the way, um, two couples left last time we played. It was sad because one of the couples I liked, I liked AJ and I like, well, I didn't really care that much for Harry. He was cool, but AJ, you know? And then Kieran and Yasmin left, but it was like, I forgot they was in the house from the jump, so. But let's get into it and see how it's going to end. Like, we already know what Misty's gonna do, but what is everybody else gonna do when they find out what Misty's going to do at the end? And then there were eight. We're hot off the back of a dumping here on Love Island today where two couples were just sent home. Bye everyone, we'll miss you. I'll miss you too, Yasmin. If you ever watch this back, you were my favorite. Really? Oh, and please return my calls when you can. You weren't supposed to take the bean bag with you or the hair dryer. <gasps> Speaking of beans, this lot are full of them. Oh my God, just the prom. Oh, did I forget to mention that? Tonight, the Islanders will be declaring their love, friendship, or mutual respect in front of six other strangers they met just a few weeks ago. Love moves in mysterious ways, I always say. One thing's for sure, we can't let them do it in their underwear, no matter how funny that'd be. So you know what that means. Ooh, shut the fridge door. That's right, Biff, it's shopping time. <gasps> we going on a shopping spree. Oh, say less. As you're drifting in and out of sleep, you're awoken by the sound of a text somewhere in the room. Was that someone's phone? What time is it? There's a few murmurs from elsewhere in the room, but no one moves. You check your own phone, but there are no new messages. Huh. I guess they'll text again if it's important. You turn to face Rafi, he's snoring softly. You cuddle up a little closer and put your arm around him. He stops suddenly. One eye opens slowly. Hey, hey, what's the time? Absolutely no idea, but I'm sure I heard a phone go off just now. Everyone asleep? You crane your neck to check the rest of the room. As you do, Rafi plants a kiss on the back of your neck. Your hair stand on end. Hey, no fair. Rafi gives you a cheeky grin, but doesn't respond. It's so quiet in here that I can't even tell if anyone is up yet. You can say that again. He sighs deeply. When people leave, it's tough, but I'm so glad we're still here together. Huh. <sighs> Rafi is really glad that we made it this far. Um, me too, babe, or I just really miss home, or I didn't think I would make it this far. Um, I didn't think I would make it this far the way I'm going. Honestly, I wasn't sure either. Obviously, I came in trying to make a good impression, all confident-like, but I realized pretty quickly that you're only ever one step away from being voted out. Oh, and there's a lot of luck involved with finding the right person. Anyway, a few moments of quiet pass while you listen to Rafi's heartbeat with your head on his chest. You're quiet this morning. Yeah, I guess there's just a lot on my mind. Rafi's got a lot on his mind. The dumping, get over it, hun. Or I have a lot on my mind too. Or, but we made it to the final. Isn't that exciting? Okay, look, so I was making some choices in the last episode and I got a comment that was like, girl, you had a chance to be a mean girl and you didn't. So I need to take more chances in being the mean girl. So here we go. The dumping, get over it, hun. Even though I'm upset about it. I mean, I know it's sad to lose your mates, but we're in the home stretch now. We have to keep our eyes on the horizon. And anyway, we'll see them soon enough at the after party. Ah, uh, true. No sense overthinking it now, is there? You cuddle up to Rafi and just enjoy the silence for a few moments. Rafi's thinking about the finale. It's so quiet, we might be the only ones awake. I bet I can think of a few ways to cheer him up. Should we try and get some alone time before everyone else wakes up? I think you could do with a distraction, or maybe now's not the time. Y'all know I'm not into Rafi like that, and I might need to save my coins for my prom dress. Like, no. On the other hand, this might be one of our last chances. They really want me to do this, but I'm good. Y'all know how I feel about Rafi. I mean, he cool, but I'm just here for the money. You hug him tightly, your head resting on his chest, and your finger tracing lazy circles across his skin. Just as you shut your eyes again, there's another noise from somewhere in the room. Again? 
Someone answer their phone. Whose phone is that? Some of us are still trying to sleep here. Suddenly the lights are on. Ooh, Seb groans. You sit up and gaze around the room. Everyone is in varying states of wakefulness. Genevieve and Seb are still underneath the blankets, refusing to come out. <laughs> Nikki is turned away, facing the opposite wall, while Lily is getting up and rubbing her eyes. Iona is fumbling to find her phone amongst the sheets. Oh, it was me. Whoops. Well, go ahead and read it. What everyone still have in bed? Lily starts clapping her hands. Wakey, wakey, we got a text here. Everyone except for Nikki starts to get out from underneath their duvets and pillows. Some are quicker than others. Rafi is quickly up and ready, clearly raring to go. Raring to go? Whatever. Okay, so rise and shine, Islanders. Today you'll be preparing for the prom. First, the girls will leave the villa to choose their outfits. Then you all need to prepare for the speech that you'll give to your date tonight. What? Oh my gosh, the prom, I almost forgot. And we get to go shopping, nice. I can imagine a few of us could definitely do with some new clothes. Oh, I hope that wasn't a dig. Right. You'll look good in a suit, babe. That's all I'm saying. The prom is tonight. We have to choose outfits and then write speeches. I'm not worried, or this is a lot of pressure, or Rafi better wear something nice. Rafi, you better wear something nice, because I'm a mean girl. I really want to see them all dressed up. My heart is beating faster just thinking about it. I didn't know she would say that. We better hurry then. Like the text said, we've got to start on our speeches as soon as we get back. Time for breakfast? Definitely. Let's go. The Islanders hurry out of the room to start getting ready for their busy day. Nikki is still in bed facing the wall. Oh, you coming, Missy? Nikki looks really upset. Maybe I should talk to him. I'll be a minute, cause he's my bestie. You go on ahead. Sure thing. Rafi gives you a quick peck on the cheek, then leaves. You head over to Nikki and sit on the bed beside him. Hey. Oh, hey. Sorry, I guess you could tell I'm not really with it this morning. It's totally fine, this isn't easy for you. Yeah, but it's not really fair on everyone else when I'm like this either, even for Lily. She had to pick someone, it's not really her fault I'm in this mess. Oh. Nikki says it's not Lily's fault that they're in this mess. She could have walked or she didn't have to break up the strongest couple. Or you're right, it's not her fault. Um, she didn't have to break up the strongest couple. Like anyone else would have been better. What, like choosing Ty? I seem to remember Ty explicitly shutting her down. Oh, and I doubt anyone else would have appreciated being split up at that point either. There's no winning really, which makes it hard to hold a grudge, but you can't help but feel upset about Elodie. Yeah. Nikki's still thinking about Elodie. You should move on, give it a go with Lily. Or maybe you guys can try to get together afterwards or I don't know, man. I'ma say, I'm a mean girl, but he's my best friend in the house. So maybe you can try to get together, you know, after. Tell Lily how you feel, she'll understand. And in the meantime, go to the prom with Lily as friends, maybe. Nikki smiles at you warmly. You catch the traces of tears sparkling in his eyes. Aww. Thanks, Misty. You're a good friend. See? I'll think about it. You better head to breakfast. Anytime, hun. You give Nikki a brief hug before heading off to the kitchen. Aw. I hope he does right. The kitchen is abuzz with chatter as everyone hurries about to get their breakfast. Guys, did anyone mention that it's the prom today? Yes. It's the prom today. Can hardly believe it, to be honest. Yeah, we're really coming to the end of this wild ride. Hard to believe. It's been good though, mate. Loved every second of it. Well, almost every second. Yeah, absolutely. It's not just about prom either. There's also the prize money. And I couldn't have asked for a better girl to share it with. Here he go, y'all. Here he go. Cheers to that. Me neither. Except mine's a boy, you know. Here's to the happy couples. Here, here. You notice that Lily is standing away from the group a little, focused intently on a pair of overfried eggs. Lily doesn't look too happy. Try to cheer her up or call her out for upsetting Nikki or ignore her. I'm calling her out because I'm a mean girl. Well, we're not all where we wanna be. You stare at Lily who pretends not to notice. Nikki looked miserable this morning. I hope Lily realizes she's ruined his prom. Ooh, whoa, easy there, Missy. I'm just saying what we're all thinking. Maybe we should let them sort it out on their own. Suddenly the room goes silent as you realize Nikki has just walked in. His eyes are all red and puffy. Hey guys, sorry I missed breakfast. No worries mate, we're not done yet anyway. Here you go, I made some for you just in case. Aw, oh, thanks. We were uh, 
just talking about prom in the last day. I know, it's okay. We don't need to tiptoe around the subject. Obviously, there's been a lot of tension since the recoupling, so I wanted to clear the air. Lily? Lily looks up from her burnt eggs. I know you had a tough choice to make. I don't blame you. And I know that if Elodine was still here, she'd be telling me to stop feeling so sorry for myself and just get out there. So that's what I'm doing. I thought about it and I came to realize that Elodine is who I want to be with. When I get out, I'm going to pick up where we left off. But that doesn't mean we can't be friends or that I need to be pieing you off all the time. So will you go to the Love Island prom with me, Lily? As friends? Lily smiles faintly. That's totally fine. I'd love to go as friends. Lily and Nikki approach each other and share a friendly hug. Nikki and Lily have made up for the prom. Good for them, or Nikki deserves better. Or I wonder if Elodine is watching. I wonder if Elodine is watching. I wonder what Elodine thinks about all this. It's pretty clear that Nikki didn't want Lily to pick him. Well, if we were asking each other, I suppose there's something I should do. Oh, what? Is this what I think it is? Camilla grins as he takes her hand. Aw, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> After last night, I'm more certain than ever that you made the right choice picking me when you did. You're gorgeous, hilarious, and confident, and I'm here for every second of it. Will you be my date for the prom? Oh dear, of course I will, you massive melt. The other islanders cheer as Iona and Camilla share a celebratory kiss. Everyone's asking each other to the prom. I should ask Rafi, or I hope Rafi asks me, or they do know we don't actually have to ask each other. They do know we don't actually have to ask each other, right? As a mean girl. Hey, Misty, you're already like one of the best things that's come into my life. Wow, will you go to the prom with me? Rafi asked me to prom. Yes, you melt, or of course I will, or if I have to. I'm mean, but I'm not that mean, y'all. Yes, you melt, good. Rafi draws you in for a kiss. Whoa, the other islanders cheer. Uh, maybe I should've said no. Yeah, maybe I should've said no. He gonna be real mad at me when I take this money. Nice one, you two. Yeah, you guys make a cute couple. Okay, chill, y'all. As the commotion is dying down, you notice Genevieve nudging Seb gently. Huh? What? She raises her eyebrows expectantly. Oh, that's a text. Islanders, it's now time to start your preparations for the prom. Girls, please get ready to leave the villa while boys stay behind. Well, we better get going. But don't let us hold you back, ladies. You need to pick your dresses. This is gonna be ace. I don't get as many chances to get all dressed up. Have fun, babe. I know you're gonna look amazing. You're quickly dragged out of the room, your uneaten breakfast still on the side. Oh, but Genevieve never got asked. Ooh, where should I wear to go shopping? I'm not paying for my shopping outfit. We gonna wear this to go shopping? Wow. We gonna wear swimsuits going shopping? This is what I'm wearing. Cause what if I gotta pay for my dress? I'm not about to start relaxing now, even if we're about to choose new clothes. You check yourself out in the mirror. If you can't wear your best look to go shopping for a better one, what's the point? <laughs> not letting your guard down, I see, Misty. Never. Are we ready, girls? The dressing room is full of cheers as the girls show their enthusiasm. Then let's go shopping. Oh, we going to the mall. We going to the mall. Oh, my. Shut the fridge door. These look expensive. Genevieve takes a couple of dresses and holds them up in front of the mirror one by one. I'm actually nervous. Nervous? You're gonna look stunning, Viv. Here, I'll help you. Iona and Genevieve pair off and start to examine dresses together. Lily is browsing lazily on her own, a little way away from you. Oh, this is it. Time to start thinking about what I wanna wear. I'll ask Lily if she needs help or I'll do it on my own. I wanna make this decision on my own. After all, I'm dressing up for myself, not for anyone else. You start to browse through the outfits until you find a couple that catch your eye. You head into the changing rooms with your pile of clothes, trying not to crease them too much on the way. This isn't gonna be an easy decision. Let's go, what we got? You take your time trying on the various outfits for the prom. What we got? Oh, wow. See, I knew I would have to pay. Oh, that's cute. <gasps> that's free and it looks so cute. I'm trying to pay for my last fit. This fit right here, this is everything. This is everything. I'm paying for this. You take a moment to admire yourself in the mirror. I do look good. You hear someone's muffled voice from the other side of the curtain. You get the impression they were talking to you. Oh, huh? Hello? Viv? Lily? Is that you? It's me, Viv. How's it coming along? How am I doing choosing an outfit? 
I'm looking straight fire right now. Or tell me what you think, or I'm not sure. I'm looking straight fire if I do say so myself. Oh, can I see? Hold on. You move over to the curtain and open it to show your outfit. Oh, look at us. We look too good. And we didn't go the traditional route with the dress. Hey, hot stuff, you're looking incredible. Oh, Genevieve, wow, go girl. Wow, you have nothing to worry about. Rafi's gonna faint when he sees this. Thanks, Viv, it means a lot. You look great too. Hey, while I've got you alone, there was something I was hoping that I could ask you. It's about Seb. It's silly, really. I'm just, I'm overthinking it. Genevieve is worried about Seb. What's the matter? Basically, you know how everyone asked out their dates to the prom this morning? I thought it was super cute. Wouldn't normally be a big deal to me, obviously, but it kind of hurt that Seb didn't even think to ask me. I know he's not a typical romantic guy and I usually like that about him, but you felt like he didn't think of you, like you were being left out. Exactly. Genevieve feels like Seb didn't think of her. You're overthinking, hun, or it's not important. It's just a silly gesture. Or why not ask him yourself? Um, why not ask him yourself? If it means that much to you, why not? It's the 21st century, right? Does he have to ask you just because he's a guy? That's silly. You're the more forward and strong-minded half of the couple anyway, right? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Not me being nice. I've definitely been overthinking this. I was about to tell her that first, but I wanted to be nice and offer something like, why don't you do this? But I was gonna tell her she was overthinking. I'll ask him. I think he might like that actually. Thanks so much, Misty. Anytime, shall we head back then? Let's go. The two of you leave the changing rooms and walk back to find Lily and Iona comparing their outfits. What they looking like? Ooh, hey girls, what do you think? Okay, Iona killing it. She went my route, go girl. Would it be tacky if I said you look hashtag flames? Because you do. A little bit, but I'll allow it because you're so nice. You look great, she's not lying. Oh, Lily, look at you to the prom. Okay, only a few of us are wearing dresses. I got the vibe. Honestly, we all do, just look at us. What do I think of the girls' outfits? Girls, you all look good. Or our boys are gonna faint when they see us. Or some of us look better than others. I am still mean, I have to. Some of us look better than others. Misty, I hope you weren't just putting yourself down. Or any of us. Oh, personally girls, I think we all look stunning. <laughs> Agreed. Anyway, I think it's time to head back. Those speeches won't write themselves. Totes, I still have no idea what I'm gonna write though. I'm sure we can all help each other, right? Then let's go. I said something to me and she was like, you talking about yourself because you're not talking about us. Ooh. You know what I say, Iona? It's not about what you write, it's about the delivery. I'm sure you all appreciate how I perform these outros with perfect timing and inflection. I put a lot of effort in. It'd be a shame for it to go to waste. What's next? Oh, right, the prom. I can't believe it's almost prom. Thank you, Misty, right on cue. Stick around because you won't want to miss these speeches. They won't quite be up to my standard, but we'll clap for them anyway. Ah, uh, prom is just around the corner and um, I look good. <laughs> but this is gonna be crazy. I'm gonna say this like heartfelt, nice ass statement to Rafi and then choose the money. Wow. Well, if you wanna see that, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let them know about the tea. Also, don't forget to check out the merch and the music. Merch at outfitswithaz.art and the music is linked down below. So have a great day in the name of the Lord. May God bless you every step.